everyone and welcome to pregnancy vlog week four can you believe it for those of you who missed it we are focused pregnant with baby number two um it is so unreal it feels like this is not happening and i'm so glad that it is and i kind of also feel a little bit a little bit intimidating thinking that we're going to do it all again because as much as my pregnancy wasn't that difficult i didn't have any major issues um Newborn stage was not anything exceptional. I mean, I had a few difficulties, but just the thought of doing it all again, but then this time taking care of a toddler as well, feels a little bit intimidating. It feels overwhelming, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be overwhelmed um, as soon as like I'm actually getting like heavier and pregnancy is taking soul in my body, and the newborn actually gets here. It's going to be hard work, but I already know it's going to be worth it, and can wait to see a little ultrasound and oh, I'm just so happy. I feel so blessed. So let's get to it. Um, first of all, I want to tell you guys that we are probably not going to find out the gender. I'm still a little bit on the fence about it, but we're probably not. And um, that's the reason why, or, or at least Rob definitely won't. And that's the reason why we had a little nickname for this baby. It's called, or we are calling him. So we're calling it a him. And uh, we'll refer to it as a little nugget, or a little nugget, <laughs> basically because um, one of Rob's many nicknames for me is Gipje, which is a little chicken in Dutch. And we used to play around with uh, Logan calling him Little Chick. Um, so, I don't know, it kind of feels right to call this baby Little Nugget, because what's tinier than a little chicken? It's a chicken nugget. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, and otherwise we would be just, we couldn't get past the junior and the little foot and everything else I've heard before on YouTube. So this is kind of like our name for baby number two. Um, because Rob will not find out gender, we cannot do a name reveal until the baby's actually born. So we won't, we're not, we won't be announcing the gender or the name until the baby's actually here. Just because, because Rob doesn't want to know the gender, we cannot pick a name either. Um, I might still change my mind and do want to know the gender, it just depends. Um, right now I'm kind of comfortable not knowing it. Um, as long as I can buy a few girl outfits, it's just if the case it's a girl, we can dress it girly. <laughs> um, so let's get into the symptoms for this week. Or actually the two week wait, I guess. The most distinguished symptom that I've had is cramps. I have been cramping since 2DPO. <laughs> and every single day is a little bit, I have to admit it as the days um, as I'm getting further into this pregnancy, I guess. <laughs> I'm only four weeks. Uh, but as I'm getting further away from ovulation, the cramps are starting to fade a little bit. Um, I still have them every single day, but I don't have them all day, every day, constant, constantly. Um, they are starting to, like, you know, come up every once in a while now, which is fine. Um, I know that after 19 BPO, you don't really implant anymore. The baby's basically completely stuck to you. So, um... That's okay. I'm 15 DPO right now, I think. So, yeah, I'm either four weeks in one day or four weeks exactly. So, yeah, I remember the feeling of Logan that cramps scared me, but at the same time, they felt reassuring because I knew that because I was cramping, um, it was a reaction to the baby actually attaching, like actually implanting, and that felt right. Um, so it's it's kind of just as like walking the line. If, if you have too many cramps, you're like, uh, is everything still right down there? But if you don't have any, you're like, what's going on down there? You know, you're just insecure the first few weeks and that's normal, so what do you gotta do? Um, other symptom that definitely made me want to do a test was my moodiness. I picked fights with Rob three times in one week and I can be a little bit of a hormonal crazy ass person. Maybe like once in a blue moon, and I know I am, and then I will later on apologize to Rob. But I have to admit, since I've had Logan, it hasn't been that way um, at all. It's mostly from before. And the right after ovulation, I picked fights with Rob so many times, and I I knew like after the fight was over, how unreasonable I've been, and I was like, I don't know what what got into me, but I just got so frustrated. Like I could feel like anger bubbling underneath my. Like, like right underneath the surface, I, I just needed to get it out, and that's how I did it. Um, 
And I remember the second time I texted Rob, like, I'm so sorry how I acted that this morning. I have no idea what it was. And it was definitely not something personal. And he just texted back, like, oh, I hope it's a good uh, sign that, it, you know, it's a hormonal symptom or something like that. And I just wrote back, like, I really, like, as much as I wanted to be, uh, that wanted to be the, the explanation for it, I don't want to be moody and grouchy and unreasonable for nine months. So I don't think it's a positive thing, but uh, it ends up that he was right. It definitely is a pregnancy symptom. I'm also really tired, and it's the kind of tired like I believe I discovered it before. Like pregnancy, first time after tiredness is a whole different kind of tiredness than just not sleeping. I've done night shifts. I've done not sleeping forever. I've I've done it all before. I've done the newborn getting up five times a night thing. This is different. This is like you already know you can take a nap. And it won't help. You will still wake up exhausted. Like that's the kind of like it's just it's in every single cell. It's not like you can push yourself through it. <sighs> that um, is definitely happening already. I am trying to take a nap every single day now. Uh, mostly during Logan's second nap, I just lay down. Even if I don't sleep, just lay down, look on Pinterest, play a little bit of a game or something like that. Just relax, and I've noticed that even if I don't fall asleep and I just like lay there for 45 minutes, it already um, makes the tiredness. Um, it, I'm able to like do something after that, or not feel as tired. I mean, I'm still tired, but like not to the point where I cannot do anything anymore. So that's good. Um, I did experience a few tender breasts uh, the last couple of days after I got a positive test. It's just sporadically once every little, and it's only on one side, never on two, and it hurts. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, Rob already mentioned, like, oh, I hope this means your boobs are growing because after I had Logan, I kind of went down like four cup sizes. <laughs> so I don't really have that much anymore, and um, I wouldn't mind if they would grow a little bit earlier this time. So yeah, that's it for symptoms. As for cravings and aversions, I don't really have any like cravings or aversions. I have made most of the, the food, it just sounds gross and it just smells gross. Like yesterday Rob um, bought a hot dog and I'm like, it looked good, but then I like thought about eating it and it didn't look good anymore. And then Rob said, do you want to bite it? I was like, and he said, I was like, kind of like, can I smell? And I'm like, oh no, 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 I don't want that. And that's basically a lot of things. Like, I want it, but then I can't, don't want to eat it. So I kind of just want to have it in my belly already, I guess. So yeah, um, not really much going on with that. Uh, I don't really have any cravings or aspirations yet. Um, like I mentioned, we're not going to find your gender, but right now I'm saying girl because of how different the first few weeks have been compared to Logan's, where I wasn't moody. I, wasn't, I was cramping, but I wasn't feeling that tired and... Nothing really gave it away that I was expecting um, a baby instead of AF, um, but the positive pregnancy test. Um, best moment of this week, definitely taking the pregnancy test on Tenny Pio and getting such a positive line. But the other really exciting thing happened is that I took the test on Friday and on Friday evening I called my dad just to like chat and you know get a few things straight, not, not to tell him or anything. and. My sister was there, she took over the phone and she's like, I have to tell you a secret, I'm pregnant. And she's like, nine days ahead of me, like, maybe a good week. And I was like, I don't know, can I please tell, can I please just tell? And um, I ended up telling her because I would feel so weird if I wouldn't have told her and then like, in 10 weeks I would be like, oh, by the way, we're due at the same time, you know, <laughs> really weird. So yeah, that was kind of fun and we had a few get-togethers already where we like talk about how these are going to be cousins and they're going to be like the same age, they're going to be growing up together, it's going to be so exciting. Um, did we already buy something for baby? No, we did not. We did buy something for me though. I got myself the Pineda Vitamins that I had Ooh, there it is. Um, last time around. Those are perfect. They just have everything. They didn't make me nauseous last time and they worked. Fine, so I got those again, and I did already buy some stretch mark. Um, it's not really stretch mark cream; it's just for, um, skincare, I guess. It's the bio oil, and it is for stretch marks and stuff like that. It's supposed to help with the fade and everything. Um, but last time I was postpartum, 
Um, so like a couple months, a couple months ago, no, about a little under a year ago, I would say like 10 months ago or something, I was talking to someone who had her baby a few months before I had Logan and she always uses this one and not only does he get no stretch marks, even though she had a lot from gaining weight and everything, um, her stretch marks that she did already have faded a ton. So she recommended this one and I still have the one that I used in my previous pregnancy. I have a few, I uh, still have a little bit of that one left. So I, I have been using that one and then um, at night I will be using this one because it's actually an oil. So, and it's really expensive. Um, the one that I use, uh, use is I think $7 for 200 milliliters. And this is 200 milliliters. And this one is $40. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a $7 one during the morning because that one is like really light and it, 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 your skin absorbs it really fast. And I'm going to use this one at night because it's oily and um, it doesn't get absorbed as fast. So I can just, you know, I don't mind ruining a few beaters over this. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do uh, to prevent my stretch marks because last time I didn't get any stretch marks until like the end of my pregnancy, like the third trimester. The only really stretch mark that I got early on was the one with my belly button piercing. It was ugly. And you'll see it in the end of this video. It is still pretty dang visible. And right before I like wanted to labor, I got a few more. The stretch marks that I did get, they're thick and they're long and they're not really fading that much. So I really want to prevent getting much more stretch marks than that. I don't want to, you know, I don't mind them, but I don't really like want them either. For Weight, I am currently 10 pounds heavier than I was previous pregnancy. But, and uh, that's definitely a, a different video. I'm going to explain what I'm going to do differently this pregnancy. But, um, previous pregnancy, I gained 10 pounds in the first trimester, and that's definitely something I'm not looking forward to. And, am I 10 pounds heavier? No. Yeah, well, almost. Well, I'm like 8 to 10 pounds heavier. So, um, if I can maintain this weight, until 12 weeks, or maybe like gain a pound, but that's it. Then I will be lighter at the end of my first semester than I would have been, than I was previous pregnancy. I completely let myself go, and I'm definitely not gonna do that this time. So, good news is that I'm only one and a half inch larger on my belly. So, that's what we're working with right now. I have already called my midwife's office, and it was so funny because I like, oh hi, you're speaking with, and the lady's like, I know you. This is not your first baby, is it? I'm like, no, it's not. I've been at this midwife's office before. And I, I couldn't imagine that she actually knew me because a lot of people come in there and she <laughs> recognized my uh, name. So, yeah. I'm at the same midwife's office. I have my first ultrasound August 18th, which is the day we were going to leave for vacation. I wanted it that way because I want to see, like, and I just want to know that there's a baby in there and I don't necessarily care about seeing a heartbeat because I'm only going to be like seven weeks in. So it might be too early to actually see a heartbeat. I would just want to know that there's something in there and not like doing anything. I do think we're going to see a heartbeat though. And I wanted to have it seen, I've done before we go on vacation because by the time we get back I'm already nine weeks pregnant and you get another uh, ultrasound at 12 weeks. So I figured, you know, then I might as well just skip to nine weeks. And I also have a midwife appointment on September 2nd and it's again with the same midwives that I've had previous pregnancy which is so exciting to see them again and um, yeah, just crazy to think about that all. So that's it for this video, I will show you guys the belly now. This is the belly from the side with the shirt down, the front, other side, let me make sure. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is the stretch mark that I had because of my belly button piercing. And then I have a few, I don't know where they are, oh, over here. I'm gonna have one over, two over here somewhere too. I don't know where. Oh, here. So yeah, that's what we're working with. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up to the video if you like the fact we're gonna have baby number two in April 2015. 
and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.